when you're out circling the earth so many times and you're looking out to the rest of the universe, do you come to different conclusions uh, than you did say when you were on earth about mm -hmm. like, is there life out there? Right. You, do you think about that? I know you're busy doing so, other things, but. My whole mission was this dichotomy of the mundane and the sublime. So I'd be like, work, 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 and then take a second and you'd see a view that humans weren't meant to see that is just, you can't even imagine, and then get back to work, especially on my spacewalks, because there's so, you're just on the clock. I mean, it is work, 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 work. And you're outside in a little spacesuit. There's like that much plastic between you and death. So you don't want to spend a lot of time out there. You want to get your stuff done. And you're usually hanging on to metal, looking at stuff. So every once in a while I would turn away, away. And I can remember this one specific view. There was a sunrise going, you know, from horizon to horizon. And it was, un, it was just beautiful. There's not even a word to describe it. And I, it was like, I'm seeing God out here in space. And then I had to get back to work because there was, a, you know, I had to go turn some bolts and, and do something. Uh, so that's kind of the astronaut's life is this back and forth between seeing these amazing sights and there's a lot of work to do to keep the space station running. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below, and I'll see you on the inside.